Sana is now integrated with Google Tag Manager. Through this web tool, you can deploy and manage various marketing and analytics tags on your web store, which are used to track and gather all kinds of statistics from it. To start working with Google Tag Manager, you will need to do the following. Create Google Tag Manager account, set up Google Tag Manager container and enter the container ID into Sana Admin. Configure Google Tag Manager for your web store. Google Tag Manager provides a lot of great tools. In this demo, I will tell you one of the common scenarios of how to set up Google Tag Manager with Google Analytics for the Sana Commerce Web Store. At first, you should create the Google Tag Manager account if you don't have it. When the account is created, you need to set up a container in the Google Tag Manager. When container is created, you will see the container ID, which is automatically generated by Google Tag Manager. You should copy this container ID and paste it into Sana Admin on the marketing page under the Analytics tab. By doing this, you connect your Sana Commerce Web Store to your Google Tag Manager account. And now let's see how to set up Google Analytics via Google Tag Manager for the Web Store. Integrating your Web Store with Google Analytics is a simple process that will give you access to the detailed statistics of the traffic in your Web Store, like page views, Web Store visitors, transactions, users, interactions with your Web Store content, and their shopping behavior. To set up Google Analytics via Google Tag Manager, you should have the Google Analytics account, which is connected to your Sana Web Store. When Google Analytics account is set up and your Sana Web Store is connected to it, then in Google Tag Manager you need to create a tag and choose the Google Analytics product. Then enter the tag title and select the Universal Analytics tag type. Next, you need to enter your Google Analytics tracking ID. You can find it in your Google Analytics account. It is automatically generated by Google Analytics when you create an account. Actually, here you can either enter the Google Analytics tracking ID of your account, or you can create a variable for your Google Analytics tracking ID, and simply reuse it each time when you create a tag. Then you need to choose the track type. For basic Google Analytics tracking, add a single Google Analytics tag and select Page View as the track type. Add a trigger to fire the tag on all pages. Using a single Google Analytics tag, which is triggered on all pages, you can set up basic tracking for your web store. However, if you want to track different events or e-commerce transactions, you'll need to add other Google Analytics tags. The most suitable track type for e-commerce tracking is event tracking, which is used to track a specific action or event such as a button click. We added support of different events to the Sana Commerce Web Store, which you can set up to be tracked on your web store. In Google Tag Manager, you can create different tags which will trigger a certain event and track customers' actions on your web store. For example, you can add tags which will trigger when a customer opens some list of products, view product details, click on a product or product link, add one or more products to the shopping cart, remove products from the shopping cart, initiate the checkout process, send the option value for a certain checkout step, buy one or more products. Now I will show you how to create a tag for some event. Just like for the page views tag I showed you before, you need to create a tag and choose the Google Analytics product. Then enter the tag title and select the Universal Analytics tag type. Next, you need to enter your Google Analytics tracking ID and choose the event track type. Then you need to enter category name and action. The category name can be anything that reflects the action you want to track. The action value is used to name the type of event or interaction you want to track for a particular web object. For example, let's create a tag which is triggered when a customer initiates the checkout process. The name of this event is Checkout. Thus, I will enter Checkout in the Action field. You can find the list of all actions and their descriptions which you can use to create tags on the Sana Help website. If you click More Settings, you can see e-commerce features. 
This feature is very useful for the web stores and allows to see when customers have added items to the shopping carts, when they have started the checkout process, and when they have completed a purchase. Then you need to choose your firing trigger. The best trigger for event tracking is custom event with the expected event name, but you can select other triggers suitable for your scenario. To configure custom event trigger, click More New Custom Event. Enter the title of the trigger and the event name. The event name should be the same as the name of the action. You can also configure the filters for the custom event trigger. So, when everything is set up, click Create Tag. This is how you can create tags in Google Tag Manager to send different statistics to Google Analytics. When you set up something in Google Tag Manager, you need to click Publish to apply your changes to the web store. You can also use the preview mode in Google Tag Manager. If it is enabled, your web store will open with a special toolbar of Google Tag Manager where you can see the tags which you created in Google Tag Manager and which are fired on different pages. This might be useful to check if the tag is correctly fired in the web store before publishing it in Google Tag Manager. When Google Tag Manager is configured with Google Analytics, you can access your Google Analytics account to check the shopping and purchasing behavior of your web store visitors and customers. Each time when a user performs some action in the web store, like views the product details or adds a product to the shopping cart, a certain event is triggered and information about this action is sent to and tracked by Google Analytics. The shopping analysis reports in Google Analytics give you insight into shopping activity, product and product list views, adding and removing the products from the shopping cart, initiated, abandoned, and completed transactions. For more information about Google Tag Manager features and tools and how to set up them, and also about Google Analytics, refer to the official Google documentation. There you will also find a lot of useful video tutorials.